Okay, folks, this will be a challenging one. I don't know how this one's going to come off a treat. It's probably going to be shit, but we'll try anyway. Let's see how we go. I just bumped, bumped a button, I shouldn't have bumped that one. Just taking out some of the colours for this and hopefully it'll turn up a treat. Okay, what is this piece of shit? It says elite. Elite sounds like a rich person's piece of shit. We're going to turn it into something interesting, hopefully. This piece of junk. Don't know how it's going to work. And this piece, this is a tricky one. Folks, I'm going to try and squash it flat and hold it. Yeah, looks interesting. Uh, not quite what I'm after. Uh, I was hoping to get that into the corner there. Um, elite. Makes me think of rich people, like assholes in the world who don't care about anything except money. It's their fucking life that they love to be rich and selfish. And I'm really over that sort of shit, folks. I don't care what they think of me anymore. No, they can go fuck themselves and their money. I'm going to one day redesign the photocopier and I'm going to make them eat my toner dust. They're not going to fucking prevail anymore. They might think they, they can get away with it, but they're not. And that's kind of looking better. And we've got this up in the corner there like that. So that's how we want it, pretty much. We're going to stretch it on the horizontal. We're going to move it up a bit. But basically, I'm really over the way, the way business is being done, the way the world has become so obsessed with money rather than loving your, loving your job. And everyone just takes it for granted that they're going to hate their job and hate their product. And it's all about money, and this is why the world's cracking up. This is why the world's gone mad, because people are not allowed to have careers any, anymore. You know, no more fucking real jobs. It's just all about money, and this is why everything doesn't work. you either got too much money and you've got too much power, or you've got too little money and no power, and you just have no fucking way of enjoying life because life's all about money. And if you don't have the money, you're fucking screwed. No, I'm not going to fucking let that happen to my life. I'm not going to fucking let those bitches get away. I will destroy their reputation if I could, because that's a, they, they're fucking assholes that don't deserve to be recognised because they just care about money. And we're talking companies like Apple and, and even Samsung. I'm using a Samsung device, but then I'm using a Konica Minolta device here and it's a piece of shit. And I'm constantly criticising KM, or Konica Minolta. So, you know, the way the world's running is, it, is that the love of money has just become so prevalent in just about every industry, and you just can't run away from it, however much you wish you could. It is. It's difficult, folks. It's a real difficult battle. Um, trying to take apart... A, a, a way, a, the way society has become entrenched because too many people 
are flowing in that direction. There's not enough people, there's not enough people power to um, make something work, to rebel against it. And I just want to revolt, folks. I just want to fucking revolt against this status quo of the elite. I don't care. I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news on Channel 9, you know. There goes the machine again. And I'm really struggling because they're full of elite people too. And they are the ones who just get the um, attention. And that's come up looking nice, the colour in that has come up nicer. So yeah, I'm just trying my best to utilise the materials I've got and the talent that I have and the passion to help make my TV campaign fly. It's really difficult um, because the TV channels, they have their own agenda. They like to have, have certain style of news items that has become entrenched in their culture like death, disease, disaster, destruction. Then you go a bit more specific and come house fires, car crashes, drug busts, murder, uh, rape, uh, football players acting bad, celebrities acting bad, but then no, they also have celebrities, they're also glorifying celebrities. So rich people are indeed extremely popular in the um, six o'clock news. And you just can't get away from all this elitism. It's elitism, folks. And you just have no fucking... I'm trying to just scratch my head and use my passion as a photocopier artist to show up the world that, you know, this is rubbish, you know, like... It's really difficult trying to break through and trying to find a, a mix of stuff that, that will appeal to the likes of Channel 9. Because Channel 9 were obviously thinking, well, this is not stuff we're used to playing. This is out of the world, out of this world. It's strange, it's different, but will people like it? They're probably asking themselves in the studio. You know, they, they, for all I know, they may like this material, but they don't know what to do with it and where to put it. What, what part of the news bulletin will this gain the most ratings? Uh, they're asking questions, and I don't know, I just really get so annoyed at them that they're not doing anything, apparently. I have been watching the news now for months, or maybe a year or so, and I just haven't seen any uh, any nibbles on the on the bait on my fishing line of media. So I'm trying my best. I burn I burn so many DVDs for Channel Nine. It's not funny, and I'm still going to be doing more. But the elite is indeed the elitism is indeed entrenched in society so it's really hard to break it it's really difficult trying to break through and and just to get into the limelight yourself so that you too can have an effect on the world but I want to make a good job of the world I don't want to be just a fucking figurehead celebrity just be like a Kim Kardashian for example or a Kardashian I just I want to be somebody who's doing something for the world, not fucking just about scandal and about doing silly things. I want to be a practical celebrity, a celebrity that can help, that's a role model for future generations, for people, you know, something that, that the teacher would like to put on the, on the, in the um, school curriculum to say, this is how you should behave as a, an adult. Now this looks a bit shit ass, that looks really hard to read. I'm going to change that. But basically, yeah, I really need to um, be able to do something to make it happen. But it's really, 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 really difficult trying to do something useful. I'm going to stick with it, folks. I'm going to go blue. So, yeah. But yeah, it's really difficult trying to get these elitist people in the news interested in something that's coming from essentially the underground. Because I do represent the underground. You know, the photocopy art has always been an underground kind of art form. It's not like painting and drawing. It's not like the Archibald Prize or any of those established 
artist things. It's not Ken Doan. It's none of that. It's fucking from the underground. It's like a form of street art. And my work is in many ways street art because I find most of my stuff off the street to try and keep costs down. And that's come up looking minimalist, but that looks really quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.